Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Hello everyone, Roy Kokos here. Today I would like to try something new. I want to see if I can print with my Epson printer on watercolor paper and then obviously color it with watercolors. Let's have a look at the watercolor paper first. So we're going to try to print on this. Let's see, it's 11 by 15. So here I, I chose this photo. We, we just came back from a trip to Georgia. The leaves of the trees were already changing colors. And I thought this was a good one. I already turned it black and white. But these are very, well, let's see, maybe I can show you. Here it is. So this is the original color photo. And I turned it black and white. And this is what I would like to print. Page set up. I'm gonna print on my P20,000. So what would be a good size? 10 by 14. Yes. I think I just have to set it off from scratch. So let's go manage custom sizes. Okay. We'll call this a watercolor 10 by 14. 10 by 14. The margins of zero. Okay. Go. So let's do height fourteen by ten. Get rid of these margins here. And now we can go to the max, ten by fourteen. Then we go to printer. Now we have to print the settings. So it's not roll paper, it's going to be a sheet. Media type. Let's see what we have here. Watercolor, paper radiant white. Sounds good enough. Just need to add the paper. First time I'm doing this, so a lot of things could go wrong. So we're going to paper, load paper, we have a cut sheet. So we're gonna add that here. The trick here is to do this very straight. Let's see if this works. Find out papers, watercolor. Okay, paper's going in. Very exciting. Pencil's checking the width of the paper now. Found it, 11 inches, that's correct. Now we're going to print. Receiving the data. It's printing. My assistant here is also present. She's helping me film <laughs> this all. Well, so far it's looking good. And then of course later we'll have to see how, do, how this paper that already has this ink on it will take up the watercolor paint. Here it comes. And here we are. So 
So now we're going to create some deckled edges. So let's measure first this side. Let's see, this is one and one eighth of an inch. So I'll put And then we want to go a little further, say like a, a quarter inch. So I'm going to go one and a half. Put a little mark. See if I can still see that later. Yeah, I'll see that. On the other side, one and a half. And then I'm going to... Cut it three times, very lightly. I'm doing it from the back side, because if you do it on the front, you might see these lines. I take a little bit of water, make this wet. And now we're going to rip that off. Of course, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the whole point of this. And it looks like this from the front. So now we're going to do the other side. Here it was... Let's see, we have to... Take off one and seven eight. Just right here. One seven eight. Again, cut it three times. Very lightly. Like that's just a number I found out by just trial and error. If you do it too much, then you don't get enough of these edges, these deckled, um, ripped edges. If you do it too few, it's too hard to rip off. And it also kind of depends on the paper, so it works for this type of paper. There you go. Now we're here. And let's see, this is probably one eighth, so we have to take off. Quarter, two eighths, three well, eighths. It, well, one eighth plus a quarter, which is three eighths. Yep. And same here. So, right there. Over here. go one two three make it a little wet and then we'll rip it off again this is a little harder because don't have much to hang on to. And that's why I didn't do one eighth. Because that is hard, very hard to take off. Yeah, we don't have that many edges here, but that's fine. And then this is the last one. This was also three eighths. Right there. Right there. One, two, three. And then we take this off. See, the edges are a little too clean looking here. 
but overall, it's a pretty good look. Oh, this is too much, see? We don't want to see that white. Let's see if we can rip this off better. That's better. Okay. And then this is the image we're going to color with watercolors. Okay, so we're ready to color this. Yes. Um, so what we need is, of course, most important, the piece we're going to color. Yes. Um, the watercolors, I think this, these are the colors we will use most. We have a few more, but I think this is the most important. There's then, a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Actually, no, let's show it. We have all of these too. Very nice. Yeah, including some metallic ones, but I don't know if, uh, if you want to use those. A lot of flat brushes um, of different sizes, plus a little um, sa one. saber brush Detail. for details. Not sure if we're going to use it, but we'll see. Who knows? Um, water and a palette where we can put the colors in. Sound good? Sound good? Yes. Okay, good. So, let's... What shall we start with? I think we should start with... Light. Um, leaves. I think branches, the, the, the sky. Right. I don't think it matters that much. We have to be careful. Well, it's watercolors. I don't think we have to be too careful to prevent going... Like mixing colors on the edges. It will be fine. Right? So... Okay, so I, I took, well, let's mention the colors we have here. What, can you read those? I cannot see it from here. Mid yellow, gamboge, scarlet, crimson red, pyrothecene blue, and hmm. sap green. Okay, so. This Not is, snap, sap. Yeah, sap. Let's start with, um, it's, it's called phthalo cyanine blue, which is phthalo blue. That's. Put a little bit here. We don't need much. Sounds like a scientist named it. Because scientists always give names that no one can pronounce. <laughs> yeah. And remember. Sounds like it, doesn't it? Okay. Let's add a lot of water. Much water. Um, I don't think you need that much water, but okay. Yeah, but we need to, it needs to be pretty thin. I think this, let's see what, what is a good brush to do this. Not yeah, well, I think we can do it with this one. Although, well, maybe we'll go back and forth. I think we need a lot more, but. It's fine for now. Oops, making a mess already. Um, okay, let's see. Have you used watercolors before? This is the first. Well, we I have like painted with watercolors, but not like as an actual photo. No, I have never. This is actually the first time. So this is a nice experiment. This is the first time I'm actually coloring a photo, a black and white photo, with watercolors. Do you like watercolors? I do. I like. Katie and I, we, um, like each week, or at least we try each week. Every other week. Yeah. More so. Well, on average, yeah. We, um, look up an artist and then... We try and do some sort of art like him. Yes, or her. And then we... Shouldn't that be green because that's a tree? Well, there's a lot of shadow here. I'm looking from underneath. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. The green wouldn't look too good because it's so dark anyway. You, you see even the blue, you don't really see it on the darker parts. Mm -hmm. 
what were we saying? About oh yeah, then we look and then we do something hands-on uh, regarding to the to the work of that particular artist. And which which one did we do watercolor again? Uh, did um the guy that did the Great Wave? So oh yeah, Japanese Hoku Hokusai. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Hokusai. Um, the Great Wave. So we. Um, I know what he. I, I don't think it was really watercolor. It was like. I think it's like. We used car. watercolor, but he didn't use watercolor. Yeah, it was yeah like that. But but the look was very watercolory. That's why we used watercolor. But we also used like black markers for the outlines and then we colored it with watercolors it wasn't a marker it was a sharpie yeah we know exactly what it Is, was isn't that the same thing they're both no? sort of different oh okay yeah i think we'll have on a little more on the top here a little darker blue can go right there here yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think once you do the background, everything looks much clearer. Yeah, then you can see where the actual leaves are. Yeah. Um, maybe here. Maybe for the leaves that are furthest back, like these here, that are out of focus, we'll use the green. Alright. Out of all these um, six colors that you've chosen, which one's your favorite? I like this one. The phthalo blue. Favorite blue. Look, I went over this leaf here, but... Who cares? Exactly. You went over other leaves. It also looks like you just dropped a bunch right there. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm looking, I'm losing the flat part, but also turn it sometimes to get a little bit more detail like here and then I can turn it and go bigger surface now this is how oh this is also sky yeah So as I mentioned earlier, we we went to Georgia. This, uh, that's where I got this photo. Did you like the vacation? Yeah, it was nice. Okay, and there's some. Look, we're running out of the blue, maybe just in time. Maybe. We can always come back later if we need more. Maybe we do that the green. Yeah. Because it looks like there might be leaves there. Maybe there's some blue coming through here and here. Who knows? Maybe a little dark on the edges, like it's like a vignette from the camera. Um, that might be leaves. Uh, yes? Yeah. So which one shall we do now? Shall we do the, the greens? The green ones in the background? It's not that many. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, again, very little. It might be too much, so let's do this. Oh well. What? The water. Yeah, I'm putting the water here, and then I'm picking up this paint here, and use it over here, because uh -huh. I think that was too much. OK. 
Okay, let's see how this turns out. What do you think? I think that's a nice bright color. I mean, your arm is kind of in the way of my vision of sight. Like, like, like this color? Yeah. Let's do Maybe you could try and blend it in with the blue so it looks more in the background. You think so? Mm. Just saying you could try. Well, look, it turns, th it turns this color. It turns a little... It's a pretty color. It is. It turns a little bit more... What is that? Aquamarine? Maybe. Turquoise? No, no. Yeah. Like, yeah, something like that. Mm. Well, all of these, I think, can also be green. So it, is, it seems to be working. I was afraid that the ink would repel the watercolor, the ink from the photo, from the printer. But it's not doesn't seem to be happening. Here, yeah, I'll add a little bit of green here and we get that. What's your favorite thing about watercolors? <clears throat> that it looks kind of, um, it's, it's a little bit unpredictable. See here, or how it, how you but get you the e edges and whatnot. You could also try putting salt on it. Really? Usually use that for trying to make a snow look because it, because the salt repels the uh, watercolor. Uh -huh. So it gives like these sort of white splotches that also have a slight shade of the color before it. Uh, it looks uh, really nice. Oh, okay. Maybe we can try that some other time. Yeah, I'll do this one green too. Look at it, because of the, the gray is so much darker, it kind of gives it a different green. Green is nice. Uh, which one? I think down here we decided we were adding more green. Yep. Oh, and here. I remember that. And then we go here to a little darker. Darker. And then here. Maybe this one. Maybe like in this corner too, in some areas. Let's do it there too. Maybe this one. Um, and down here. You know what? Well, let's add this here, what you mentioned earlier. And we'll get that mix it. It's mixing with the blue, but... He listens to me. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to put in some fall colors. Wow. Which one? So I picked several warm colors. Which one? I think we should go with... Try this one first. Crimson. Red. Okay, let's see. Christmas. <laughs> okay, that might be good. And then we'll take that same little brush. Let's stick a piece of paper, paper towel, and get rid of that green. I want to know what bothers me. What? Every time you put um, your brush in here, the old paint right here moves. <laughs> That's scary. And it looks weird because it also looks like fabric. It does, doesn't it? Mm. Okay, let's see. We kind of want to go bright red, right? Bright what? red, this leaf right R here. That one. This one. Yes. pink 
Yeah, it's not pure red. Huh, that's actually... didn't expect this. Yeah, I want it more red. You can try mixing it with this, maybe. What? Or maybe you could, um... Let's go with... What if you tried mixing it with this color, burnt sienna? Okay, let's try it. What I mean by mixing, I mean just go over it. Yeah, over it. I know what you mean. Yeah, let's create that paint. We'll just use the same brush. And this is pretty dark. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's not the, the pure red that we were looking for, but... It still looks nice. It shows that it, it's turning to death, I guess. I mean, also in fall dye, you've missed a color. In fall colors, there's also brown. Well, we, we saw the photo earlier. There was a lot of red in here. Hmm. Let's move on to um, Scarlet. It's weird because Scarlet and Crimson are like the only two colors that That's very thick. are actually red. got a little bit of the burnt sienna in here too but hmm. I mean I think for these colors it's best that you don't um clean your brush because then it gives it more color in a way this is like pure red which is what you were looking for probably but I think I put it on maybe too thick Let's add more water. You can try dabbing it with uh, a paper towel. It's not, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's a not... bit weird, but I do it and it kind oh, of Oh, that actually looks it. actually really good. Look at that. Woo. It looks very more, um, gives it more of a texture. Yep. See, the, adding the water helped. It's not that dark anymore. That that's saturated. Yep. Okay. Let's pick a totally different one. Oh, this one here. And then the one next to it will give it more of an, an orange one. Maybe this leaf? I feel like uh, this leaf should be gamboge and this one should be mid yellow. Uh, okay. Well, let's add more of this. What if I go over this one again? With this red we have and follow the veins yeah and then go over it dab it this one oh that looks pretty good a dabbing trick works Maybe you could put like touches of bronze in some places to make it look like they're sort of dying a little bit. Okay. Is that the, that's the metallic color? Yes. I mean. Okay, I think we need to do this one. This one, red. Which one would you like, burnt umber or bronze? Bronze sounds good. Right. That one is going to be sort of shiny. Okay. Well, now we, let's go to the, 
the orange or whatever. Gamboge. 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 I don't know. I mean, you also could have gone for um, orange yellow, which looks a bit more orange. That's true, but we can do both. Let's let's do true. this one first. We're just taking them all out. So the question is, how are you going to get rid of all those paint in there so you can use other paints? Gamboge right there, that leaf. Okay. Let's do it. Yes. Yeah, that, that does look good, doesn't it? And then a little more here. What if you add a little bit of that here? Just mix it a little. And then dab it. There. Look at that. Which one do we want this color? Which other leaf? Here. This one? Yes. Oops. <laughs> oh well. Well, we'll do this one too then. Yeah. And I think we could even do, let's go back to this red and do like parts of it. And then dab it. Yeah, like this. And even this one here. I think you could also maybe dab this one. I don't know. This one? Yeah. Well, this one already had that color on it. Like with the paper towel. Oh, with the paper towel. Let's see. And this one too? Yeah. Well, this one is removed a little bit too much, I think, see? I think... We're also not pointing it correctly all the way. Yeah, we need to go back and add that back in. Now it has it a little... It looks a bit more yellow, the drying result. It does, yeah. Well, I like it. Rose. Um, more of that over here somewhere? Yes, this leaf. You'll add a lot for this one. See how fast it dries. Yeah, this one's dry. Another one? This one? Hmm? Sure, yes. This yellow over it. Which one? This one? So, no, some of the, some of the uh, orange ones, you could go yellow over it. Oh, okay. Some. So, well, I think we could, well, we still have a lot of, we can still add some of the others we did earlier. So we do a new color or? I think we can still do this one. We should do like a little bit more. Of this one? <clears throat> yeah, just, just a little bit. Which leaf do you think we should do? Top left corner. That one? One of those. Okay, let's do it. Good, good. Another one, new color. Oh look, there's still a lot of sky now here, I see. It was never there. Never. Well, well, well you know what, we'll make it this color. Yes. So there's a lot of leaves that have this color back here. Yes. There we go. Dun. Yellow. Well, which color palette are you going to put it in? Because this one has a little bit of it, which we'll Look. mix it in. Gone. Heh. <laughs> it 
if that shows. It does. Woo. Oh, that was a lot, but no, it's good. It's fine. Squirt, 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 squirt. Okay, let's clean this brush a little. Oh, did we show this? We also have a, a jar of water here to, to clean our brushes. Yeah. Okay. Which one? Huh? This one. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Wow, it almost looks green. Ish. Like a yellow green color. Yeah, over here where we go over the blue. Right here, this uh, says aquarial, but if you look, but if you look at it from where I'm setting, it looks like it's saying Aquarius. Oh yeah. Which one? Hmm? Which one? I think we should have more reddish in the middle. This one. And I think we should try to go maybe a little more vibrant on, like I thought it was too vibrant earlier on, but the paper also uh, soaks up the color. So I think we, we could have added a little more red. Have you ever thought about using a sponge for your photos? Yes, I, I actually have. Mm. Um, have I? Sponger. Well, when I paint on my Photos. I have used sponge, sponges, yes. Sponge. Not really when I colored them, I think. Let's add some yellow to the one that we did before here. Yes. And if you add that to the red ones, it should turn orange. Yes. Let's do it like for the bottom part of this one. Look, look at that. That looks good. You should also use this color. Which one is that? Bronze. Oh, bronze. We're gonna use bronze, yeah. But I think we, let's fill this up more in the middle here. I think we should go back. I'll just dip it in the red we have. We have a lot of red. Yes, that that is very true. I want it quite bright or Saturated. Yeah. Look at that. Is that too much? No, it's not. I kind of don't want to see see these white lines. Kind of want to get rid of those. When I was little, I thought the rainbow went red, orange, yellow, blue, green, purple. I don't know how my brain thought of that, but it did. <laughs> Whenever someone told me the correct way, I was like, no! Or something like that. I probably dismiss it, I guess. Someone told Someone would tell me the right way and I'd be like, mm-hmm. Goes back to doing it my way. Uh-huh. Yeah. I also uh, thought that red and blue make purple. Purple and blue make red. And red and purple make blue. Wow, how old were you? Very young. Probably uh, young. Like, maybe like four, five, six. Okay. That range of time. For let's add let's do the, the paper towel technique for this one. But the the mixing colors thing went out. Uh, 
before I thought, uh, before um, I actually accepted the real colors of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. some red here. Yeah, using my finger. Yes. Finger. Okay. I think we still need more red. Red. Like I think, if I remember, all the leaves are red in here. In the original color photo I took. Have you ever looked at a uh, painting and be one, one, one of your paintings and think there is too much of some sort of color here. Not that I can remember, but probably. Like a, of one particular color or like too much color overall? Both. Yeah, probably. This one, it's kind of piling up here because the paper is starting to warp. Still think we need more red. What if you put burnt sienna over some of the red leaves? Yeah, it probably turns a little bit more orangey. Like burnt sienna, it's like a it or orangey nice. brown. It might look nice. Yeah, we can do it um, like selectively, not the whole leaf, but parts of it. Uh, let's do that now. Uh, oh, that was this one. Which one do you want to try it on? Any of the red ones. Uh, I don't want too much color. Yeah, this one. Like that? Maybe this one too. Oh, look, this one doesn't even have any color yet. Oh, I'll do it with the yellow one too, through the middle. my finger. some spots okay not many but okay I still have some leaves left here many leaves which color do we have what about that more true orange orange yellow I think this one's supposed to be orange-ish. Which color are we not going to use anymore? We'll, we'll move it. The blue? 
Yeah, but that one is a little, you have to make it wet again, I think. Try to remove it. There we go. Well, there's also vermilion. Okay, let's do this one. We'll do these for the leaves that are left here and maybe go over it with one of the colors we have already. Do you like this? Hmm? Do you like this one? Whoa, that's a bright orange. It is, isn't it? Personally, I'm not a big fan of orange. Oh, okay. But sometimes I think it can look nice. I think I like it here. The only thing that I think is just a bit weird is that there's a bunch of orange over there, but it's not really over here like it's too imbalanced do you think i think so yeah because i mean maybe if you make some colors in that orange and put some orange mixed in somewhere over here it might look a bit more balanced yeah i, I agree and we can still add some other others in here yeah um okay so which which one is this one Maybe the, well, you know what? If you put the orange on a lighter color, it uh, will show better, but I like this yellow leaf. I don't want to do anything to this leaf anymore. Well, then do it to this leaf or that leaf. Like that? Oh, look, we still have some down here. I feel like the orange is very saturated compared to the rest of the colors. You think it's too much? Yes. Yes, I do. Let's see if we can still tone, I also it, think a lot of tone it down. It is pretty saturated compared to the others. This leaf, I feel like you've just put every color on it. Yeah, I think I did. Well. This well, looks let's better. See here. You put the crimson on, you put the scarlet on, you put probably the gambouge on, and I'm pretty sure you put the yellow on. On this leaf? Yes. I think I did. So, we still have one leaf left. Yeah. Yeah, I'll add it. I kind of like this one here. This bright. Okay, we have one leaf left. What do we do? Oh yeah, and we still have the bronze uh, thing. Let's just do the pure bronze on it. Let's see what happens. Dead leaf. Yeah, well, let's remove this green. Ah, good enough. Mm -hmm. Oops. Ooh. It's from the metallic section, so yeah. it should have a little bit of it does. glitter to it. It's supposed to be dead though. It's supposed to be a dead leaf. Well, aren't they all? These ones are dying. That one is supposed to be dead. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Okay. Whoa, shiny. Yeah, that is shiny. It's like liquid metal. I'm pretty sure that exists.
It's just huh. moving. It's like going into the paper pretty much immediately. I think the metallic ones are just supposed to be like a glaze over it to um, just be shiny. Yeah. Like, like the like the bronze metallic part is only supposed to be there, not the actual color. Still has some. Uh, so which leaves, you said we were going to put it on a leaf, right? I mean, Shall we do the one that we <laughs> had it five million colors on? Yes. Yes, five million and one. We're making it shiny now. <laughs> there. Another one. Maybe you could also use some of the burnt umber. Yeah, that's like a brown. Yeah. More glitter. We've used 10 colors. I thought we were going to use a lot less. Oh well. Shiny, shiny. Where do you want to put the burnt umber? Maybe on some of the orange. Oh, because you were not happy with, <laughs> with the orange. I still think there's too much orange. Okay. I know it might be a problem. Yeah, this is a color we the truth. I don't have too much of. Yeah. Okay, we'll make you happy. Yay. Why do you think there's just enough orange? Uh, it was too much earlier on, but when I dabbed it off, it, it got better. I still think it's too much. And I'm here with you, so I'm supposed to annoy you while you paint. Uh, annoy me or assist me? Both. Okay, let's um, add some brown umber. Yes, I like it. I approve. The child approves. A little more. Maybe also what you could use for the burnt umber is if you see any white spots, you could just go over with that. Yeah, there's a few. I see one here. Okay, another one. What about this one? This... Hmm. Oh shoot, I'm in the wrong color now. <laughs> This one? Yes. I think it looks a bit more balanced. Maybe. Could still have a little more. What I liked a lot, still the leaf where we put five million and one colors on. I like the, the many colors. And, and, and this one You're here... You're just missing one color now. This one has a nice variation of, of value of how, how thick the color is on. So I like this one. That was a good technique. That was my technique and I usually use it to get rid of colors and that doesn't usually end up very well. That You're just missing one color on that leaf. Which one? This leaf. <laughs> like we didn't do yellow. Or what? What didn't we do? This. Oh, the, yeah. Okay. Maybe you could do it like right there on that leaf. On that part. Sort of overlapping. It wouldn't show up too much. Maybe. Well, maybe at the bottom here. There. Now we've used like every color on it, <laughs> except for these two. But those two aren't exactly supposed to be. Yeah. This one. Let's do it in the shadows. It kind of looks good in the shadows. Mm -hmm. I think we're done, aren't we? I think at no, some I'd point... I'd say it looks really good. At some point we should stop. I think the hardest part about painting is knowing when mm, to stop. Exactly. Because then you might be at a good point and you just want to add more, but then it looks worse. Or it looks better. So... This is our 
beautiful we, masterpiece that he is gently it doesn't really matter out. what orientation we use right so we can just show it like this too yep or like this So this was a first. Are we pretty happy with it? I think we are. Yes. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. And I also have uh, like pastels on paper, oils on photo paper, oils on canvas, acrylics on canvas. Um, and this is the first time we did watercolor on a black and white photo printed on watercolor paper with deckled edges <laughs> so please subscribe to my channel and we will see you next time